Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 5, I believe this is, of V Rally 3. And in this episode, we already looked at our emails at the end of the last episode. Uh, basically, keep it up, is what they said. So, it is time for our final rally of season 1, which is Sweden. It's November, by the way, in case you didn't realize. Um, yeah, we have Sweden, so that should mean... Yes, we have snow, finally. 22 miles... Uh, average speed is 84, 84 miles per hour. Average surface is snow. And rally number is 4 out of 4. Understandable. Stay cool, don't lose your lead. I can probably do that. Alright, let's have a look at our race conditions. At least for our first stage here. Trinneborg. 85% deep snow and 15% snowy gravel. Hmm, interesting. It is actually snowing, question mark, for these first two. Anyways, I'll look at the uh, the other ones as we go. But, uh, I guess I'll look at my tires here. So it's 85% deep snow. That works perfectly for me. Let's get started with our first snow rally. I'm actually excited for this. I do remember, I do remember doing the, the, uh, the snow rallies in this game, a little bit at least. So I am excited to see this again. But in actually higher quality, because I've... I don't think I've ever actually played this game through, like, the Retro Tink. And with the, uh, the higher quality cabling, upscaling I have going on. It do be pretty, though. It do be snowy. That is correct. And we will see if I can get another minute ahead overall throughout this rally. I don't know. We'll see. So far, things seem to be going well. Um, let's see. Yeah, 0.4 seconds ahead. I'll take that for our first sector. I also remember random thing, by the way. The uh, the numbers underneath the uh, like the bigger numbers that are usually underneath the pace notes. That's what the word for that is. Uh, I never knew what that meant as a kid. And now I realize it's meters ahead that uh, the code driver is warning you about. But yeah, uh, when I was a kid, I, was, I, I literally just remember not understanding what that meant in the slightest. Because I think that was also a thing that was omitted from Rally Sport Challenge 2. It's not snowing, by the way. Uh, it was omitted from Rally Sport Challenge 2. Like, they just had two right or three left or whatever. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, oh, shit. I've lost my brake light again, god damn it. What the hell? Anyways, that was just something that I kind of vaguely remember. I'm just going down memory lane. Again, I've owned this game for close to 20 years at this point. Um, and it came out 20 years ago. I learned also, by the way, speaking of release dates, uh, I've learned that this game came out in 2002 for the PS2 and GameCube, I believe. That was an animal over there. Uh, and then for the Xbox and Windows and GBA, maybe? Maybe I have it backwards. It might be the GBA that was 02. Anyways, the Xbox and Windows versions both came out in 2003. Uh, not quite a year later, I don't think, but yeah, just a little interesting fun fact, which is why on the playlist on my channel, uh, it does say 2003 for this game, because the version I'm playing released in 2003. So that is how that will go. Oh god, snow. Oh, my fender, or my, my rear end is a little bit scrunched now. It's not just my brake light missing anymore. Damn. Huh. Oh shit, careful. <laughs> snow, snow slippery. Did you know? Snow, 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 nah, nah, nah. I bet you didn't. I like how there's campfires on the side of the road, too. That's actually kind of cool. People are trying to stay warm. Alright, so, so far, not the biggest lead I've had so far, but you know what? It's still a three and a half second lead, so I'll take it. And we have, I guess, what was it, Jason Parker, I think? And the 206, right behind me. Close to right behind me. 
And I'll get a thumbnail. I thought the game crashed. Okay, and we continue on to our next stage after we look at our results here. I was 42 seconds ahead of last place. Goddamn Volkswagen really not doing well. Glad I didn't pick that team, even though my friend is also not doing well, but not in last, so I will take that. Uh, managed to get somewhat up to 2.0s. Do we have any retirements for the 2.0s? We do. There is one Didier Boucher? I don't know how you say that. I probably said it completely wrong, but yeah, there's our standing so far. And we already have a service area, which is pretty cool, so I can fix my body work and maybe other things that might be broken. Uh, we have springs on the suspension that are broken, caliper, connecting rod, and lights. It doesn't just say body work, even though the body work was fine and the lights weren't the last time. I don't know. Let's look at our tires here. What do we got? 80% deep snow and 80% deep snow. And that is, I believe, yep, GA, GA? Maybe. That looks fine is what I'm trying to say. Let's go ahead and get started on our second stage here. 5.2 miles. Stages are getting longer. Or are longer. Something like that. But we do, in fact, have snow. Which does leave little snow particles on the windshield when in cockpit view. Oh god, I can't see where the road's going. There's, It's too white. Send help. Oh, we have a retirement. I'm in position blank out of 15, not 16. Damn, some 1.6 just DNF'd. I guess it do really be like that sometimes though. I don't know how you DNF. I don't know if you just damage your car too much or what. Well, that's pretty good, two and a half seconds ahead on sector one. Um, I don't know if you can like actually just total your car if you hit something hard enough. I don't know. Where are we at? Where am I going? This way? I literally- Ah, my fucking brake light! <laughs> why? At least it's the right one this time. It's not the left one. But still, why? <laughs> I can't believe this has happened to me three times! What the hell? Oh, I lost time there. Deserved it, honestly. I broke my brake light again. How could I do such a thing to my poor car? Oh, uh -huh, Lord. <laughs> I always love Sweden rally stages in video games, or anything that's really snowy. Some of my favorite ones are in Rally Sport Challenge 2, actually. Get off the deep snow. That is not good for your health. I think the ones at Rally Sport Challenge 2 are actually easier to see though, because they have more of a, uh, I don't know, it's like almost like a salty look to the road, so it's a bit darker than the the banks and the, the fresh snow. Ah, God. I want to play through Rally Sport Challenge 2 so bad, but I know it'll take literally forever, and it also gets very difficult, uh, like a little over halfway through the game maybe. Yeah, it'll happen. It's just not happening right now. Now, I've played more Rally Sport Challenge 2 than a lot of other rally games, so that's another thing that I'm like, huh, I can just go back and do these other games that I missed or just didn't play much as a kid. Because I played the shit out of Rally Sport Challenge 2. That was like the only game that I had that was actually fairly progressed actually from when I was a kid. I didn't really progress in video games as a kid. I just kind of fucked around for the most part. Oh, we're going this way. I see. Like, uh, a lot of my time on Forza Motorsport, the original one, was spent going backwards on the tracks and hitting the AI head-on. I swear that doesn't have anything to do with me as a person. Because now I'm the exact opposite of that. I would prefer not to hit anybody. 
But uh, yeah, that was what I did instead of progressing through games, funny enough. I think I did finish Project Gotham Racing 2 on like the second to lowest difficulty maybe. I don't remember. It might have been bronze. But yeah, I uh, I just didn't really care to play games like to actually complete them as a kid. Which means I get to go back now and complete all of them now that I uh, am an adult and I have better decision making processes in my head, maybe. No! <laughs> my homie! What the hell, Alan? Why are you the first retirement out of 1.6 in this rally? Son of a bitch, I gotta carry us? Ugh. I'm actually upset about that. Uh, whatever, I'm already 12 seconds ahead. Definitely not going to be as far ahead in this one as I have been in the past. Um, but that is perfectly fine by me, honestly. This looks icy. There's also a very straight section of road, if you can call this road. That's a lot of people, too. They have an impressive amount of spectators in this game. Compared to basically every other rally game I've ever played. Go! Just go fast! I'm probably not going to be that far ahead at the beginning here because there's a lot of straightaways. And I tend to be bad at straightaways, apparently. I don't know. Ah! Oh, the helicopter was way ahead of me this time. I saw you up there. Alright, Sector 1. How far behind am I? Oh, I'm actually ahead by six hundredths of a second. Interesting. There's people standing on the campers. Very nice. Uh, pretty bridge. Ooh, look at this bridge. I like it. I also just like covered bridges in general, but still, it's red, which makes it even better. It reminds me of a red barn, which is very, you know, just close to home. You know, it happens. Wow, I got an extra four seconds ahead in that, se at that sector. Very cool. So yeah, basically anything four and above, I can take full throttle. Yeah, four and above is definitely full throttle territory. It also says flat left and flat right instead of like six or seven, which is interesting. I say a lot of things are interesting, but they are though. You know, I'm just curious, and things I find out tend to be interesting. I don't know. It, I can't help it. It just happens. Ow. Even further ahead, seven and a half seconds overall. Hairpin. Oh, shit. I'm struggling. Yeah, now it's a sort of different uh, selection of people right behind me. It just keeps changing, which is kind of interesting, because usually one AI is dominant in rally games. But apparently not this game. Some may do pretty sort of consistently, I guess. But they're not like the same results every uh, every stage or rally or whatever. It's interesting. Huh. Finish. Finito. Huh. Yay, I got further ahead. How far ahead was I? 11 seconds. I got an extra three and a half seconds on the uh, the last sector there. 
I also like that I got a 343-33. Lots of threes. It was a Peugeot that came in second, unsurprisingly. Um, yeah, Yasu Yasujiro, Yasujiro is seeming to be pretty consistently second. I did not beat everybody, but I got close. Do you have any more retirements? Nope. Understandable. And I am 26 seconds ahead after three stages. Uh, we have two stages left, I guess. Understandable. I can't believe half my team is gone. Oh my god, look at those 2D people. <laughs> so they might be 2D, but still. You can't see it on a 480p screen that well. Suspension position. Front, right, rear... What? RE. What is RE? Resident Evil? Triangles, lights. Alright. Uh, let's have a look at our stage info here. Oh, by the way, here's the stage stuff, because I didn't actually look at this for the previous two stages. But we have 85% deep snow and 15% snowy gravel. And roughly the same for the uh, the final stage. We have sunny and not so sunny. Understandable. So what you're saying is I should have yeah, deep snow. Understandable. I um, don't think there's anything else I want to change. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start. I've decided I'm not going to change my control scheme. I know I was, I was struggling with the uh, camera buttons like two episodes ago, maybe. Um, but I've decided against it because I don't care enough. And I've already started to get used to using Y for the look back. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. The rear window has that weird green tint to it again. I don't know why that happens sometimes, but only sometimes. It's like a, almost like a tint that you would see on a real car, but I don't think that's what it actually is. I would assume not, at least. Maybe it's like I'm looking at it with polarized glasses or something, or supposed to be. Even though I'm not wearing polarized glasses IRL. I am wearing glasses, and not polarized ones. Usually it's only sunglasses, I think. I don't think there's polarized regular glasses. I'm not sure though, because I don't know that much. I just have the glasses that I have and that's it. Wow, I'm behind, what the hell? Morgan Freeman is behind me. What the hell? I can't believe Morgan Freeman is actually here right now in a rally race against me. I can't believe it. Alright, can I gain... I gained back a little bit of time. Ow. Oh yeah, we have snow tires and wheels on the car. Another thing I like. Different wheels for different uh, tire compounds. One thing I've always appreciated about uh, rally games. I am ahead. Very nice. I don't know why my first sector was so bad. I didn't really do much wrong, I don't think. So maybe this game isn't like super piss easy, but it's pretty damn easy compared to most rally games I've ever played. Like early Rally Sport Challenge 2 is easy as hell. Early Rally Sport Challenge 1 was also easy, but this seems like a more than early on thing. Again, I still have to do more of the game to see, but I'm not feeling I'm not feeling the difficulty, you know? And I don't think I will be. Five right. Oh god. There's somebody on a jet ski or not jet ski, a snowmobile. Off to the right there. God, there's just more and more things that keep happening that keep disrupt. My fucking brake light. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, there is more and more things I keep seeing that are interesting to me. They're like environmental things.
I have a finish. Wow, that was a... No, that wasn't a short stage. I did lose time, though. Interesting. I was only two and a half seconds ahead that time. Hmm. I don't know why that one was more difficult than the others, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, Sujiro still in second. I still beat some 2.0s, funny enough. And we've had two more 2.0 retirements. Interesting. Still no more 1.6s. Alan, you're going to give us a bad name if you're the only one that retires in this. Out of the 1.6. Squad. Oh, I have rally lights. Or fog lights. I always call them rally lights. I actually don't know what they're specifically called. Which is interesting because they were not on as far as I could see. They might be now, but I can't see them because I can't look back and see them. I think the only way to see them is to... Look at the replay, I guess. Oh, there's another snowmobile. That's the right. Wait for it. Oh, he's going to be behind the house. I thought it was going to be like up. Oh, there's another one on the left. There's another one on the left. Oh my god. So many snowmobiles. I'm getting the true Sweden experience. I love it. Ooh, that forward. What the hell? That was a very solid sign. Very different from most of the signs I've hit in this game. What the hell? I can't believe it, it would do me like that. T right? <laughs> this is a pretty, like, vibe. Vibe? Aesthetic. We'll call it that on this stage with the uh, the sunset kind of the light. I like that. And on the snow. Oh, there was Poppin. <laughs> Maybe there isn't the greatest of Poppin on this game. I don't know. Because those trees just kind of appeared out of nowhere. And I was not that far away from them. Compared to, again, other games of this generation. Oh! Moose? Moose? Deer? Big deer? Big, small moose? I don't know. It is an animal of some sort that has four legs and has antlers or horns, whatever you want to call them. Maybe it's a reindeer. We'll, we'll go with that. We'll call them reindeer from now on. Almost went on the road, too. I think they're actually kind of randomized with how they run. If I remember right, like, if you aren't close to them, they will run across the road, and if you are close to them, they will either think about it or they won't, I think. I don't know. I'm sort of remembering that. Maybe again, thinking of something else, but that one there kind of ran up next to me and then went back, to, or actually just kind of stayed in the middle of the road. So, I don't know. I have a finish! Yeah, five seconds ahead for our final stage here at Sweden. I do want to see... Do the, do the lights work? I don't think they do. Yeah, I don't I don't think the... the, the why, why do I have them? Why do I have them if they don't work? Why, why, why are they there? I'm mad. If car has light, light should be on. That's what I think, at least. Anyways, I still beat a fair amount of the 2.0s. Uh, we did not have any more retirements. So Alan, in fact, was the only 1.6 to retire in this rally, which is incredibly disappointing. My homie. It is interesting that it says Eden and Infogram. Like, I'm pretty sure those are the same company. And I'm like 99% sure of it that Infogram turned into Eden Games or Eden Studios, I guess, at this time. And then they were eating games by the time that Test Star Unlimited came out. I don't know. I like how I'm, my my character is like trying to shoot the, the champagne out and just failed completely because none of it came out. It's all frozen. We're in Sweden. Everything's frozen. Anyways, here are final standings. 34 seconds ahead. Again, not as much as usual, but still 34 seconds ahead nonetheless. Uh, two Persias are in second and third. Volkswagen's in dead last. Very nice. 
And here's our 2.0 standings, which I believe we will actually get to experience ourselves very soon. But that will be for another episode. Uh, for now, yeah, there we go. We got our 25 points. So I'm up to 100 points. Or, yeah, I'm up to 100 points. Uh, Alan is still in 13, or yeah, 13, thankfully. Didn't actually go down any positions, which is nice. Uh, a Fiat got 11 points, surprisingly. Did not have any before that. And one Volkswagen got one point. Nice. Okay, so the person who got in last, or who was in last in points, won the last, that, that rally in the 2.0s. That's hilarious. I was like, 25 points? It's 16th place. They're in last place. Uh, that's actually pretty funny, though. But they didn't make it because they are tied with last. So. God damn it. Alan, if you would have just survived through Sweden, we would have been in first, probably. God damn it. But Peugeot takes the win overall. Son of a bitch. And Subaru takes the victory for the 2.0s overall for the first season. And we get a fancy little screen here. We get a, a, a trophy screen. I guess because I was technically the highest points. I guess that's why they gave it to me. Oh my god, the clapping animation. I guess it's better than nothing. This was early in uh, the Xbox's life. I'm going to assume that this doesn't just end, so I'm going to go ahead and just end it. Well done, you've won the championship, 1.6 liter front wheel drive. You now have access to the car, Lancer, English. But yeah, we have the Lancer Evo 6, not the 7, the 6. Uh, I don't know where I have access to it, maybe in like quick races or something, but we have it now. And there we go, we are officially on to season two Going to the top right of the screen in January. Very cool. Um, sign with a team first. And my velocity and consistency are up to maximum. Goals is one way from maximum. Experience is two now instead of one. Very cool. And I literally pushed MG to maximum everything. Hilarious. And now I can actually look at the press book and not look at records apparently. Total points, 100, Seasons Race 1, Rally's Race and Rally Victories, and there is my Season 1 results overall. Very cool. Yes, did it! And I guess that we will look at the emails. So we have MG, they want to renew. We're, happy, we're satisfied. <laughs> you better be fucking satisfied with the results I obtained. I literally won everything. You'd be happy to extend- I know you'd be happy to extend your collaboration with me. Would you like to renew your contract for the next season? I don't think we're going to do that at all. But, otherwise, we have two test proposals from Toyota. Our team is currently contacting drivers with an eye collaboration for next season. I'll read all this in the next episode, actually. And it is the Corolla rally car, which is pretty gosh darn neat. Uh, Toyota's not doing good, apparently, judging by their statistics. Uh, it's Toyota Europe as well, not Toyota Japan. And we have Sayat, which is doing a little bit better on their uh, their stats over there. But again, I will read those in the next episode. But, MG, congratulations, Leah. You've blown us all away. This season was really good, and your skills grew with each of your performances. We hope you'll stay with us next year. Best regards. I wouldn't be so expectant of that. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Testriv! <laughs> This name will be remembered for- oh god, I hope it's not. Forever in the International Drivers Hall of Fame. You can be sure that every team will be fighting over Testriv if they count on winning the next championship. What do you think? If I had one more fucking letter <laughs> to use. Oh my god. Anyways, that is that. That is a season done. We do not have a contract, so we'll go ahead and save. And I don't think anything happens when I quit out of here, besides showing a thing in the loading screen that isn't very long. Um, but yeah, there's our stats so far. I like how license is spelled with two C's instead of an S. 
be strange. Uh, but yeah, it's like how it says current team and MG, even though I haven't re-signed with them and I don't plan to. Um, but yeah, that just brings us to that. So that will be that. That is our first season down for V-Rally 3. And we will be continuing on to the second season soon. A little bit faster cars, I hope. But for now, thank you all so very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode.